welcome back to my channel. I am the Electra for Latina and today I will be talking to you about a new e-bike company that has been making splashes in the market. It's a great bang for the buck in terms of power and performance. I am referring to GOAT power bikes. But before we dive in, let's roll the intro. Please make sure to stay till the end of this video because I will be revealing a big but for this company that new buyers should be considering before buying. Also, if you're enjoying this video, please make sure to subscribe as it helps my channel tremendously in order to continue making this kind of videos for you guys. But let's go dive in. Now, Good Power Bikes has three models, and today I will be talking about the Motor Goat version 3. And these are some of the most important specs. The motor. It's a giant direct drive 2000 watt motor that peaks at 2600 watts. Now, direct drive motors are going to have uh, uh, higher top speeds than geared hub motors, but the torque is not as good as the geared hub motors, but power, 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 huge motor. The battery, this is another 60 volt battery with a 25 amper hour batteries for, for a pretty huge range, right? Then the brakes are hydraulic, four piston brakes with massive 203 millimeter rotors. The controller, this is something that's impressive too. It's a 50 amp controller, guys. So up to this date, the biggest controller I had seen is the one in the wired with 40 amps. And just so you get a little comparison, um, most e-bikes come with a 17 to 25 amp controller so you're getting double okay with this bike you're getting 110 newton meters of torque which is really good the other thing that i like is that it comes with mag wheels instead of spoked mag wheels are going to be a lot more durable than spokes especially for a heavy high powered e-bike then the display you get a full color with um with an app with navigation um it's all, and a lot of functionality in it yeah the brakes i already said they're massive four piston hydraulic brakes oh and it also comes with a whole lighting package front rear light the front headlight is big and it has a low and high beam um that, turning signals a horn um, i know it comes with with mirrors like it really really comes really well equipped okay it comes with a shimano seven speed gears dual suspension and an estimated impressive top speed of 45 miles an hour now guys you get all of this for only $21.99 and you can get an extra discount I think of like 10% through affiliate links from some influencers now this specs performance and range are amazing incredible out of this world wow surpassing every other eBay company out there for the price range but and here comes my big but the main components are on branded so main components on an e-bike are your motor and your battery right so if it was a uh, name brand motor it would say bafang for example or hang tag or or something like that but it doesn't the batteries you know if it was high quality cells it would say samsung lg they're on branded too and the suspensions i've only seen one influencer talk about a branded rear suspension but who knows what other components are unbranded don't get me wrong i love great bang for the buck evax where they give you a lot for the money 
And I love where our industry is headed, where all these companies are popping out of the blue that are pushing the envelope, bringing this e bikes to new limits. Ugh, competition is more ferocious than ever. But where I'm coming from is like, okay, so let's talk a little bit about the competition, okay? So around the same price range. So think about Rev1 right up. This is a, with a dual suspension, same as Goat Powers, uh, the, 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 the Goat V version three, it also has a dual suspension. Granted, yes, it's a lot less powerful, but it comes with all high quality branded components, especially the important ones from a very reputable company. So the motor is a 52 volt, uh, 750 watt, but it's a Bafang, okay? The battery is a LG cells battery and um, the brakes are Tektor hydraulic, like super good components. Now the Aerial Rider X-Class, same thing. It comes with a Bafang motor, uh, they, they also use name brand batteries, texture hydraulic brakes, and then the wired, right? Especially referring to, well, the wire freedom, the step through, they have the same components, but it's a also high quality motor, hang tag. The batteries, they just upgraded from, I think it was from LG to Samsung. Samsung are even better batteries. And, um, and then, oh yeah, and it's using Tektro hydraulic disc brakes, like you know, the, the controllers too, they're like branded in this in the in the competition that I'm like mentioning. So with this guys, like, you know, when you're getting name brand components, especially the most important ones, right? Like you're talking about reliability, durability, they're going to be backed up, right? Reputable companies too that have, I mean, nothing wrong with new companies, right? Of course, like they all have to start somewhere. But uh, yeah, I mean, the embranded components are like less likely to, to fail, especially with all the power that these e-bikes are, are putting, you're going to need this high quality components that are going to be able to resist the high heat. And uh, yeah, the, the power that is just coming through all of this part. So, you know, I'm thinking about safety. Uh, I'm thinking about uh, long lasting uh, products, right? That's where I'm coming from, guys. Like I have nothing against Goat Power Bikes at all. Um, I hope the company does great. And guys, I really appreciate you coming along to another one of my videos. If you have any comments, I always love to hear from you and I reply to every single comment. Um, oh, and please like and subscribe. This means a lot to me and it really helps my channel so I can keep making videos like this one. And always remember, whatever you're doing, happy riding! <laughs>